up for us in this. I can't get past it. While that means I didn't get fixed myself. That means I didn't straighten anything out. It's just, it's literally in the middle of my junk, in the middle of my sin, while we were still sinners. Christ died for us. What does that mean? That means that uh, 1 Peter 2.24, he himself bore our sins in his body on a cross. And so this is where it just becomes cliche to hear about a cross, but man, maybe you haven't thought about what happened on that cross. Everything that you thought of, everything that you've done, everything that you could do or will do, uh, he became it. I know how wicked I am. I would suspect most of you would agree. Not how wicked I am, but maybe the way you are. <laughs> it, and he became that. So that I could die to sin and live for righteousness. And by his wounds, you've been healed. Think about the pain that he went through on that cross. Not just the cliche. We hear the, about the nails that went through <coughs> his hands. We know about the nail that went through his feet. We know about the spear in his side. We know about the crown of thorns, but the mocking and the spitting and the ripping of his beard and the excruciating, <coughs> the excruciating pain. I always picture like Again, this is not theology. This is just me thinking, but I picture like I'm hanging over a cliff and Jesus is in one hand of God's and I'm in the other and, and he can only save one of us and, and, and he chose me. He let Jesus go through what he went through because he loves me. And he's in the middle of all this pain and there's these guys that are gambling on his robe and they're, they're mocking him and making fun of him and they've got a sign up behind his head and, and, uh, and, uh, and he, at any moment, you know what scripture says, that thousands and thousands of angels are just on the edge. They're, they're ready to stop this. And, and Jesus, Jesus is about to, to shout out and he says, Father! And he should have said, take them all out. You should have said, I'm not doing this. Finish them off, God. They don't even, they don't even, they're not even grateful for what's happening right in front of them. He says, Father. Because they're not even aware. They're not even aware. At least this is finished. I've done every single thing I can do. I've done everything that I can do. There's a few different ways to look at this uh, thought process of the come back soon thing. One is maybe you've wandered away from God. Like a sheep. Naive to what's going on around you. And there's a call from the Father this morning saying, just come back home. Come back home. 
The second one is a the second one is a cry from the, the places that you've come from. In in the movie Titanic Rose, uh, she she hears she hears one of the boats coming back by. You remember this scene? She hears the boats and she hears she hears them hollering and and she, she goes over and she. Uh, she she goes over to a, a, an officer or some type of security person, and she rips she rip, rips the whistle off of the uh, off of the guy, and, and she starts trying to blow the whistle, and she starts she starts yelling, "Come back, come back!" And, and I know maybe God has saved you from drug addiction, and maybe God saved you from some broken marriages, maybe God saved you from some, some, some abusive situations, maybe, maybe God's pulled you out of a, a family issue that uh, you, it was hard on you, but there's, listen, those people, those people that are hurt, listen, the people that even hurt you, they, they, God died for them, Jesus died for them too. And, and how crazy would it be to float away with the cries from our family members and the cries from the people that that we we love to hear us begging them just come back at last maybe God has uh, healed you in some amazing ways Pulled you out of hell. Pulled you out of witchcraft. Pulled you out of Satan worship. I saw Dave back there. Uh, pulled you out of some. Maybe he's healed you. Maybe he's brought you through some di a divorce that was terrible in a relationship. There, I, I don't know what God has pulled you out of. Healed you. And there just needs to be an expression where you go back. Shout, throw yourself at his feet and say, thank you, Jesus. Would you pray with me? With your, um, your heads bowed and your eyes closed. I'm going to make this as quick as possible. I My desire today is that no one leaves here without knowing how awesome God is and without knowing who He is. And so if you don't know Him this morning, there's a cry from your heart. Father God, save me. I need Jesus. Tell him your sins, but I tell you what, in the middle of that, he already knows. Tell him you're thankful. Praise him. Ask him to save you. If you ask Jesus Christ to be your Savior this morning, or you think you need to, if you just look up at me just real quick, I want to miss you. Amen. 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 Again, that's a cry of your heart, and you just say, God, I'm sorry. Forgive me of my sin and save me. Maybe God's put a burden on your heart this morning that you need to go back. you got to go back. There's some people from your past that don't know Jesus. There's some people in your family. And you say, Pastor, God, God has put a burden on my heart to, to see somebody come to know Jesus this morning. If that's you, would you just kind of look up at me? Yeah. All over. Sure. Praise the Lord. For sure. Yeah. And lastly, maybe, maybe just say, I'm coming back just to say thank you. I need to express my love and praise to Jesus better. I need to thank him and continually thank him for who he is. I throw myself at his feet and just let him know with my expression that I am grateful. If that's you, just raise your hand and say, I am, I am grateful for what? Uh, awesome. Awesome. Let's pray. God, you are awesome. We praise you for who you are. We are so thankful for what you've done for us. Lord, please remind us of the people that we have left behind in our past. God, that we need to reach them, that we can love them. Then. Lord, you make us strong enough to do that. Lord, remind us to come back and thank you when we've been 
radically, supernaturally saved. Thank you for the cross. Thank you for what you've gone through. Thank you for all of those things, God. You are, are awesome, and we praise you. Lord, bless this church. Let us continue to, to be bold and, and, and be light in this, this world, Lord. We just praise you. We love you. We thank you. In the powerful name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen, Amen church. Love you guys. If you need